Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm gonna share a one year of roadmap. So if you follow this roadmap, within a year, you will definitely land a job in a cloud computing field. So there will be like five steps. If you follow these five steps within a year, you will uh, land a job in cloud computing. And if we currently look into the job market uh, of uh, cloud computing, it's very uh, certain that uh, the, you can land a job that is like that will pay more than uh, uh, six figures. So uh, you don't need any prior experience to follow this step. That's the best part of it. So if you are a beginner, this video is definitely for you. So you can start your uh, cloud uh, journey. Well, before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and uh, IT career related tips. So if you are interested in this field, this channel is definitely for you. I'm planning to upload a lot of videos related to uh, uh, these fields. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. So without further delay, let's dive in. The first step for this uh, one year of a roadmap is uh, to get uh, certification. So my understanding is like if you want to learn a new technology any field in it um, i would highly suggest you go for a certification in that particular field it helps you to understand things it helps you to uh, know the uh, technology way better in a very short period of time as we do have like one year of roadmap so we uh, we need to use our time very precisely so uh, whenever we're talking about cloud company certification there are three options these are aws uh, then uh, Google Cloud and then uh, Microsoft Azure. If we currently look into the current job market of uh, cloud computing, uh, we can see that AWS is the industry leader. So if you can uh, learn AWS, then things will be easier for you because there are many more jobs in AWS compared to the other two. So whenever we are talking about uh, AWS certification, there are uh, almost 13 to 14 AWS certifications. So we really need to know which certification we should go for. And uh, now I'll help you with that. So this is the certification that I would highly suggest you to go for. This certification name is AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. So uh, if we look into the exam overview, so it's uh, more of a associate level certification and it will cost like $150. So it's not that expensive. And the value it's gonna add uh, under your uh, resume is a lot. So uh, this $150 is totally worth it. Then the exam format is uh, uh, multiple choice questions and 65 question you need to answer within uh, 130 minutes. So I have uh, created a video earlier related to this uh, certification, how to prepare for the certification. I shared the resources that you need to cover. So if you really want to know more about the certification, you can visit my previous videos and uh, I, will, uh, I will add the link under the comment section so that you can find it uh, easily. Well, uh, this is the first part. So. Uh, even if uh, you go through that video, I just want to add a few more points about the certification. How should you uh, prepare for certification? So for any sort of ID certification, the most important thing is the consistency. So you really need to spend time each and every single day. You have to spend time, you have to uh, allocate at least one hour or two every day to go for uh, this uh, certification training. You have to uh, learn from multiple sources. Just relying on one single source of information is not enough and you really need to practice so please uh, sign up for AWS account and then from there you can uh, uh, try to do some hands-on experience with multiple AWS services it not only help with the certification it will help you to understand the technology you will uh, learn many new skill sets and it will help in your IT career as a cloud engineer so please do that so please be consistent and if we look into the timeline like how much time it's gonna take to get certified from my understanding, if you spend at least one to two hours every day, uh, within two months, you will be fully ready for the certification. And the resources that I mentioned in my previous videos, what need to be covered, if you covered that, uh, it's uh, very certain that you're gonna pass the certification very easily. So step one is done. After two months uh, of uh, hard work, you'll definitely get certified and uh, you'll have this AWS Solutions Architect as a certification. Good luck. And after that, there comes the next step. So once you have the certification, then uh, 
I think from my understanding, the next uh, best way to land a job in cloud is to have some hands-on experience. And the good question could be, how can we get uh, these uh, real-time projects? Because uh, uh, right now we don't have the experience that is required for most of the jobs, right? So here I'm going to help you with that. So what I did after getting the certification, uh, from my personal experience, I uh, created one account under Upwork. So if you don't uh, if you don't heard about Upwork, well, uh, Upwork is a freelancing platform where different uh, uh, people, different potential employers, they post, uh, post jobs related to the, their pro problem, and you can apply for multiple jobs, multiple uh, projects at the same time. So I did that. So once I got certified, then I opened uh, my Upwork account, and under Upwork, I uh, tried to look for jobs for AWS because uh, by then I had the certification and uh, the good part is that here you can work on multiple projects so what does it mean that means the learning opportunity here is uh, huge so one tip in here like for most of the jobs that you will see in Upwork for AWS maybe you know 50% of the job and 50% you need to figure it out and I would highly suggest you please apply for those jobs I do have a very good reason uh, for that. So first of all, uh, when you are applying for these sort of jobs, then uh, the learning opportunity is huge, then you need to figure it out. And uh, as a human being, it's our tendency that our brain works better when we are under pressure. So there uh, we will learn learn about it, we'll uh, uh, develop a new skill set, and uh, in the meantime, we're also earning. So if you work as a freelancer at the very early stage of your life, you will get exposure to multiple projects uh, that are, that are like oh, uh, super awesome for your uh, skill sets after a step two now you do have uh, a certification you do have uh, real project experience which is awesome so we are getting closer guys so the next uh, step step number three is to uh, make a killer LinkedIn profile so uh, from my personal experience what I found that uh, most of the jobs that are posted on LinkedIn are legit and uh, it's a very good platform to land uh, IT jobs so uh, to make sure that you do have a, a great uh, LinkedIn profile, I suggest a few tips in here. First of all, you really need to uh, add all the skills that you have under the description section of uh, LinkedIn. So uh, whenever a person visit your profile, will know exactly what sort of experience do you have. And one more cool tip in here, please, please add the certification that you already achieved, which is AWS Solutions Architect Associate certification under the LinkedIn profile. It uh, adds a lot of value. And uh, uh, Try to make sure that all uh, sections of LinkedIn are well uh, uh, well written. And uh, some person, if someone is visiting a profile, should have a uh, some sort of uh, uh, visibility that the value that you're gonna add uh, uh, if you join their team. So it really helps. So number after number uh, three step, now we are almost there. So the next step, the step number four is to uh, apply for jobs uh, this is where the fun begins so i do have some tips that will help you to uh, land a job in uh, cloud company field so if you go to linkedin section and try to search a job in as a cloud engineer you will see a lot of jobs there and uh, one thing i always do is that uh, i first go through the job description and according to it i customize my cv because uh, most of the time we uh, we just uh, send the uh, generic uh, CV to for every job, but uh, if the skill set doesn't match with the job description, most of the time it gets rejected. Because uh, uh, we need to make sure that uh, we are spending some time, and whenever the potential employers see that uh, you are investing time, that means you are serious. So uh, please do that. And uh, under the job description, uh, you can also add some uh, notes. You can also add your certification to just showcase that, yes, uh, I do have what is, uh, what is required for the job. You can also share your uh, experience as a freelancer that you have solved this, this, this problem. So the cool thing about IT is that uh, once you have the experience your confidence will go up and whenever you'll face the job interview they will ask like what's the previous experience you can tell them in a more detailed way like hey i did this i solved this problem this is how it helped uh, the uh, the person or the co contractor previous contractor so uh once you have this mindset that yes i am capable enough uh, for this job once you have this confidence then i can guarantee that you can crack any job interview 
If you follow the previous four steps that I mentioned in this video, I am pretty sure that you will land a job in uh, cloud computing field. And once you have the cloud computing job, so the question could be what's next? What's the step number five? That's the most cr critical one. And that is uh, continuous learning. So once you land a job in uh, cloud, I did that too. Once I have the job in cloud, then uh, I didn't stop there. So I thought this is the, just the beginning. So now I have to focus more and more. So after that, what I did, I tried to learn many things from the job. And also in the meantime, I also tried to add value of my uh, resume. So what I did, I went for more and more certification. You can see in my background, I do have uh, quite a few certification, but I haven't added all of this in here because of the space. But uh, currently I hold more than uh, 20 uh, certification related to cloud, related to cybersecurity. There's a reason behind it that whenever you're preparing for any sort of certification, you are learning everything in and out like everything is uh, you're trying to understand like how things are working and when you learn things like in the, this precise manner you would notice that the way you did your work will change you will be more uh, clear like what need to be get done you will understand the best practices and things and uh, once your employer sees that the the effort that you're putting to uh, become a better person a better IT uh, IT guy then um, your employer will really appreciate it and there is a very high chances that you uh, you will get promotion because in this world if you do the hard work you will get recognized you don't have to uh, just uh, show it but the way you will uh, tackle things you will uh, it will prove that uh, you are really serious about your job you are taking your job seriously so please do that so number five that is the continuous learning this is the key in id world so there you have it. So the things that I have mentioned in this video, the five step, it, it is a, a roadmap. If you follow that, I can guarantee that you can change your career. You can uh, be a better IT professional. So these tips uh, I already applied in my uh, career, in my life, and it really worked. So if you guys have any questions related to any of these tips, please let me know. And we're gonna talk about it further. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, so please uh, like and subscribe to this channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Uh, if you want me to cover any specific topic related to IT, let me know under this comment section and I'm going to cover that for you. Uh, so that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.